Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install Pulpstone Open WRT on our Raspberry Pi. So let's do it. First of all, let's go ahead and open Google Chrome and open the website of Pulpstone. Let me just go ahead and do that. As you can see, the website name is pulpstone.pw. This is the website that you need to visit. Then we need to click on download now to download the image. It will redirect to the download page. And once we scroll down, you can see the first one, SBC. Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 2, Raspberry Pi 3, 3 Plus. So this is the image. Let's click on download to download the image. Now we are redirected to this page and as you can see Pulpstone Open WRD 18.06.1 BRCM2702 and this one is for RPI 2, RPI 3 let's just move a little bit down and check this one is for RPI 3 and this one is not required this one is also not required so we need to check which image is good for us so we'll go ahead and do this one RPI 3 one because I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 model B for this particular practical so let's go ahead and click on it and it will start download in a moment and it will take a time I'll be back so the download is finished now as you can see Pubstone is downloaded now let's go ahead and insert the SD card to the computer I'm using a 2 gigabyte of SD card for this practical the card is inserted. Let me just open my SD card formatter to format the card. Let me close the back window and uh, let's do a quick format. Yes, it's formatted. Click on OK and close. Now let me open Atcher to write the image. Now we have the Atcher open. Let's go and select the image in Downloads. The image is right here. Pulpstone Open WRT. Click Open. It's selected now. Then we need to select the drive, the 2GB one, 1 1.98 GB. Click on Flash and uh, yes, it will take a moment to write the image. So the image is flashed successfully. Let's go and close this and uh, take out the SD card and now I'm going to insert it to the Raspberry Pi so the Raspberry Pi is connected to the router with the help of the LAN cable and I'm just inserting the SD card to my Raspberry Pi 3B plus sorry it's model B let's go ahead and turn it on now once I turned it on it start installing the open WRT, the Pulpstone open WRT in it. It will take a moment. Let's go ahead and open our wireless network watcher to check the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. By default the IP address is 192.168.1.1 so we need to change that as well so we can get the internet connection on our Raspberry Pi. Let's search for it one more time as you can see it's changed to Raspberry Pi Foundation and the IP address is same 192.168.1.1 so what we'll do we'll try to go ahead and uh, check whether we are able to log into the Raspberry Pi through this IP address and we are able to do that so the username and the password is a root root and root so let's go ahead and log in once we log in what we need to do is uh, we need to connect this directly to our computer so let me just switch 
the cables and connect my Raspberry Pi directly to my computer so I can work over it. Now I'm directly connected to my computer and I'm waiting for the connection to establish. It's connected now. Let's check that we are able to log in. Okay, we are logged in. Let's go to root network interface add it DHCP client ignore interface switch protocol save and apply so it's keep on rolling back but we'll click on apply unchecked now let's try to connect it again to the router and check what we get so the Raspberry Pi is also connected to the router and it's scanning the network now and let's check what we got now it's on 88 let's check whether it's working here now or not so it's open on 88 let's go ahead and go on to root go to network interface and check whether we are on the DHCP so we are on the DHCP now so you can connect it to the computer and change your IP address to DHCP client so it can get the internet so the first thing that we need to do here is to update our pubstone openwrt how we can do it let's just connect again to the SSH with the 88 IP address 192.168.1.88 once it's open go ahead and log in with root and the command is opkg update by typing this command that we can see as you can see download is installing and uh, all the download is finished it's working fine now so let's go ahead and minimize this and let's check that we are able to connect to the wireless or not so here the you can just go ahead and click on add it to check the settings so the name of the access point is raspberry pi and let's check what's the security the password is internet so let's go ahead and click on it and try to connect to this I'm using my Windows phone to connect to this let me just go ahead and grab it so I have the Windows phone with me let me just go ahead and connect it to the computer it's connected now and let's just go ahead and open project my screen up it's open and let's just project the screen as you can see the screen is right here let's try to connect to the Wi-Fi and as you can see the Raspberry Pi is secured let's go ahead and connect enter the password next it's successfully connected and as you can see connected secured let's go back try to open edge and open Google so it's working absolutely fine let's try to open YouTube or it's working or not it's working let's search for my channel PC Mac 24x7 and you will see all the videos lying up here and let's just go back and check whether it says we are connected or not let's go to wireless one more time as you can see it's connected master raspberry pi and one device is connected let's try to connect one more device and check whether we are getting the information that another device is connected or not let's try to connect my other phone as well so it's trying to connect now 
it's also connected so as you can easily see that two devices are currently connected to the Raspberry Pi from here the range is right now 68% it might be because of the location so it will be better if it's as you can see I just move it to the right side and the percentage is change it's 78 percent so it's all good so this image is better than uh, the open WRT it have lots of things that I'll show you in my next videos how we can configure them and how we can use them it's like an upgraded image of open WRT from Pulpstone so guys that's it from my end if you like this video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit the like button and if you have any comments please type it in the comment section I'll try to answer them and thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day